Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're looking at the Anglo ESP deck, the black deck from El Duco. Uh, what is this? You know, I guess I could say this is a, a deck review. It's also a magic review. It's a magic deck of cards. So I don't really know which category it falls in. You don't really get a magic trick with this, but you can do magic tricks with this. So deck review, magic review, you decide. All right, so what is this deck? Uh, this is a deck of ESP cards, okay? Sometimes called Zenner cards, uh, sometimes called Rhine cards, all right? But it has the five symbols, the wavy lines, the star, the square, the circle, and the cross. All right, so this ESP deck with the Anglo black back design was printed by Afossen of Sweden. The cards are the same high quality cards maybe if you've uh, previously held the Anglo Poker Edition uh, number nine. So this ESP deck contains 25 symbol cards. Uh, and like I said, they were originally designed by Dr. Joseph Ryan back in 1927. He designed these to test the extra sensory perception at Duke University. And maybe you probably saw these premiere in the very first Ghostbusters. Uh, that's where I first saw them. This Anglo deck contains 25 ESP cards Okay, so again, you're getting the five of each. You're getting five circles, five crosses, five wavy lines, five squares, and five stars. And then you're getting an additional 25 ESP cards. Same exact faces, but these ones are secretly marked on their backs. You're also going to get four double face cards, which have a force circle on one side. Now, I own a lot of ESP decks. I own a lot of uh, Zenner decks. Why would I pick this one up? Well, first of all, it was 11 bucks. Right? It was $11.25 from PenguinMagic.com. And I would suggest if you like this after watching my video, I would head down to Penguin Magic and pick one of these up. I got them because the ad copy says, probably the best ESP deck in the world. Probably the best ESP deck in the world. I had to add the cart and see what it was like. Um, reason being is because some of the best ESP tricks you can do are with marked ESP cards. And I have some that are really hard to read, and I have some that are fairly easy to read, so I kind of wanted to see where these fell. Let me just say, these are probably the easiest ESP cards I've ever read. Um, as soon as I learned the key, I was reading them immediately without any mistakes, okay? With no mistakes. And the markings are so deceptive that only you will know what they mean. In other words, on the back of the cross, there isn't a cross. There's a different marking that stands for the cross, and you will understand what it means immediately, I promise you. Now, about the quality of the cards, they're not the greatest quality, okay? They don't glide beautifully, they don't shuffle beautifully, but that's not really why you get ESP cards. Uh, you don't get them for their handling, okay? You're not doing magic tricks with double lifts and spreads and you know flourishes. You're getting them for uh, the ESP tricks. And so it's nice to have the marked and the unmarked versions uh, if you don't want to get caught and, or if, you know, if you're not using uh, a specific trick that uses marking systems, it's nice to have the unmarked. But most of the time you only have five or six or seven of these cards at a time. Maybe you have all five cards and then a force card or all five cards and a prediction card, okay? So more often than not, you're not going to be doing any funny shuffling anyway. Uh, so if you're looking for an ESP deck and you don't even own one yet, uh, this is a great one to start with. This is a great, great deck. Um, I'm really glad I picked this up, and I would definitely agree that this is probably the best ESP deck in the world. Like I said, I picked up mine from penguinmagic.com, and if you'd like to purchase yours, I would suggest you head there as well. Thanks. Bye.